Hey what's up YouTube, Custom PC Review here and today I'm going to take a quick look at the MSI AMD Radeon 6970. The Radeon 6970 series of graphics cards began shipping in December of last year and is the direct competitor to the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 560, 570, and 580 line of video cards. This Radeon 6970 now features 2,640 million transistors and is built around a 40 nanometer process. It is clocked at 880 MHz core and 5.5 GHz memory and features 2 GB of GDDR5 memory running on a 256-bit memory interface. It also includes 1,536 upgraded stream processors, down from the 1,600 stream processors of the HD5870. However, AMD claims that the 6970 stream processors are more efficient and should deliver a 10% performance boost despite having fewer stream processors. Running at around $339, this MSI Radeon 6970 looks very good, placing it well under the price of the GTX 580, around the price of the GTX 570, and slightly higher than the GTX 560. The art on the cover of the heat shroud is very cool and futuristic looking, and is easily one of the better looking third party 6970 cards out on the market today. As you can see, this card is heavily based if not identical to the AMD reference design. The only feature I see included with the purchase of the MSI card is a solid state capacitors and a free copy of 3D Mark 11 Advanced. Included in the box is an external power cable, a crossfire bridge, a DVI to VGA adapter, and a mini DisplayPort to DisplayPort adapter. You also have quick start guides and the driver CD, although I heavily encourage downloading the latest software from ATI's website. From the back of the card, we can see one single link DVI port, one dual link DVI port, one HDMI port, and two display ports for a full range of monitor, projector, or TV support, as well as Ifinity support for up to four displays. So who would I recommend this card to? Well, for starters, if you're looking for great graphics at a great price, this could definitely be the card for you. But realistically, if you're looking between AMD and NVIDIA, there really isn't a significant difference that would make me choose one over the other, unless there's a promotion or something. One advantage I see of the 6970 having over the NVIDIA cards is the amount of memory, so I'd expect better performance out of the 6970 when running on higher resolutions or when using Ifinity. Also, just as a final note for those who itch to overclock, MSI also released a factory overclock 6970 as of March 2011, if you're interested of course. The MSI Radeon 6970 Lightning features an upgraded Twin Frozer 3 heatsink, military class components, unlocked voltage adjustment, and a factory overclock to 940 MHz from 880. You may find more details of that in the description box below. Thanks for watching the custom PC review quick look of the MSI Radeon 6970 graphics card. Stay tuned for benchmarks or updates in the future. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. 